know what can because to me this is like absolutely like heart wrenching fun. Hi! So right now we are on our way to the climate clock that was recently changed in Union Square here in New York City. So uh, come come on with us and check it out. above me there is the climate change clock and if this doesn't bring you any kind of anxiety I really don't know what can because to me this is like absolutely like heart-wrenching but what we can say right now is that every single action matters and it is completely up to you and to me and to everyone else to make sure that we do have a planet to live in for the foreseeable future and not just in seven years and so many so many minutes and hours and seconds now, let's talk about pros and cons of this clock and really what we can say about that right now. So the pros are, let's go with cons first. Let's go with cons first. So the cons are, people may think that we have more time than we actually do, right? Like sometimes you think about it, like when I think about it seven years ago, what was I doing? Like, where was I going? Like uh, part of me is like, we have so much time it's not a big deal but at the same time i'm like seven years ago i actually do remember that really well and it feels like yesterday and i still have very vivid memories of my time then that seven years doesn't really seem like a lot at all oh, hair basic hair in the video um so we basically don't really have that much time so to speak we don't but i think some people might look at the clock and might say well we still have seven now seven years it's not a big deal it is some other thing that I also thought about is greenwashing and companies greenwashing. I believe there's a company that just came out and they said they're gonna be like net zero, zero carbon emissions by 2050. 2050? Are you kidding me? Like that to me is like, you're going to a Zoom networking event you have no clue what the topic is, right? You show up and there's someone, ran and then like you're randomly, like someone calls on you and you're like, you know, 2050, that's the, that's the year. And everyone's like, oh, okay. And then you're like, I did really great in that meeting. I've met so many people. I made so many different impressions that were great. Maybe you made great impressions, but they weren't great, you know? So like to me, that is greenwashing. That to me is not a real freaking thing. So. When you put that into perspective, yeah, they're talking the talk, but they're not walking the walk, whatever. So I'm gonna go back to pros because I do believe that this climate clock does have a lot of pros. So one of them is sense of urgency. Unlike some people that might think seven years is a long time, to me, that's not that long of a time um, frame. So like, I think a lot of people are gonna think that seven years seems very intense and seems like it's like right around the corner so i feel like some people might have sense of urgency there um climate anxiety i have this as an anxious person already climate anxiety is a real thing that i experience and i think a lot of people do as well especially when you see this clock like it honestly felt really heavy being there because it's such a strong topic right it's such a serious topic so i would say that is one of the things and i think that it might may inspire people to really kind of cut down on some of those items that they might have bought that are in plastic or think about sourcing their house with renewable energy if they're available able to financially you know i think that it does make some kind of adjustments like maybe somebody will go to starbucks and they will not get a plastic straw with their drink right i know it's like little things but maybe that will inspire someone to make a small action. I know Jack told me when he got home, he wanted some raspberries and he ended up not getting them because they were like in a plastic container and he saw the clock and he was like, uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is like a collective unit of us. It's not just me individually thinking about myself. And I'm not saying that you need to cut down on all of the luxuries that you're currently getting and that you're really in love with. Like, but I think that everyone should be making small changes right now, like yesterday. And, you know, I, I think that that's just really the most important part of this climate clock. And it would be stupid of me not to mention that majority 
of these intense changes really need to be coming down from the top. Governments, it needs to be big corporations. Um, those guys are so responsible for a lot of these things. I mean, they are contributing to majority of these issues. So really, like, I think that's really where the change starts, but it can also start from you as well. I wanted to read a little bit about the clock from their own words. The website you can find all of this information is called climateclock.world and I'll link it down below. But I wanted to specifically read what they said and how they described them. The climate clock was created by two artists, Gan Golan and Andrew Boyd. The climate clock shows two numbers. The first in red is a timer counting down how long it will take at current rates of emission to burn through our carbon budget. So essentially that's the amount of CO2 that can be released into the atmosphere by limiting the global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. So the second number is tracking down the percent, the growing percent of renewable energy. We need to get to 100% and right now we're at 27.76%. And we have seven years, 93 days, 22 minutes, 18 seconds, 44 milliseconds. So if you think about it, like it's kind of like, it's happening. Yes, we are growing renewable energy, but the question is, are we growing it at a good enough speed and rate? But the thing about this is that I thank you for watching me today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this wasn't too heavy, but it is such an important thing to talk about. Have a re wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Twenty-seven point seven six two six zero zero two six eight five seven. It's going really fast.